Hey everyone, Brian from Red River, and today we're going to go over how to create a lobby and modify meeting settings in Microsoft Teams. We all know how easy it is to schedule a new meeting on the calendar tab by just selecting an empty slot, adding a title, putting in a recipient, and clicking send. But did you know that after the meeting's created, you actually have the ability to go back in and modify some settings? Once you select a meeting, over here you'll have meeting options. Inside the meeting options, you'll be able to select if there's a lobby, who's allowed to bypass the lobby, always let people bypass the lobby, announce when people are joining or leaving, and choose who's allowed to present. Once you click save, those settings will be updated for that meeting. If you've already started a meeting and you were the creator and you forgot to modify those settings, you could always do that after the meeting started. Click on the show participants list, click on the ellipses and manage permissions. It'll take you back to the same page that we were at before where you can modify those settings and click save. I hope that helps everyone out. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.